starting. starting. All right, it cool. looks like a quadrangle. Okay, okay. This is the ice stage, as you can tell. Uh, the real special thing about this is that no items spawn, so it's really just about fighting and climbing. Yes, uh, usually, like, there's one or two fights that matter really hard, and then after that, you know, the, the opponent who gets the advantage can take off. Ooh, there and goes Blue. <laughs> that might have been a, a little bit of the nerves he, and the ice combinate together. Yeah. You can't do that. You yes. can't do that. All right, let's see if Blue uh, has learned anything. So on the ice, you're always going to slip. As long as there's a solid block, it'll catch you. So you got to be careful about all your movements. Orange taking that quick W. Clean. Super clean. clean. Everybody can hear the players getting hype over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, he just called it. He was like, I beat him in one minute. <laughs> Yikes. This is looking like full body already. I know, Speed, right? man. Uh, if anybody was watching, actually, they did the first full body tournament uh, in Japan, like 2 or 3 a.m., and we had a bunch of people in the hotel room all watching this thing. It was crazy. And uh, the main thing about that game is that it's like two to three times as fast as just like regular Catherine. So that game's nuts. Nuts already. Yeah, we're excited for a lot of the new changes. Uh, some good, some bad, but... You know, we'll find yeah, that as the yeah. game gets closer to release. Right, right. Uh, it looks like they're deciding who's going up next. Yes, yes, they are. Can we turn down the game volume just a hair in the mics? I don't know if... Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a little better. All right. Um, let's see. Let's talk about Climb Cancel. All right. Um, so this event started what last year, Chaz? Last year, it was originally supposed to be a dedicated Catherine event, and um, this year we decided to kind of rebrand it a little bit. We're trying to reach out to more like unappreciated games as a whole. So we've actually got like Wind Jammers. That's what that's going to be up later today. We've got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Tournament Fighters, Sailor Moon S, and uh, and of course Catherine is going to be like the end of the event. There's also uh, Ron. I don't know the name. The Ronde. Ah, uh, Senko no Ronde. Senko no Ronde. Uh, yeah, by Dejica Games. Actually, they've been really cool. They hooked us up with a bunch of uh, swag, um, all the way from Japan. So that's really cool. They actually hooked us up with an early copy of Rival Mega Gun, wow. which uh, is based off of um, Twinkle Star sprites. Oh, next round is starting, and they chose Torture Team. Okay. So this is the spike stage. You see the glowing spikes haven't been activated yet. You step on them, and then you can step on them again, right? You have to activate them first. Orange here kind of stole that block from Blue. Ooh. A little too fast with his actions there. He didn't pay attention and didn't notice the spike blocks were underneath him. Yeah, yeah. It looked like he, like, snapped back onto it. Yes. All right. Team Erica's uh, looking like they're taking this pretty free. So yeah, far, they're pretty solid say, so far. Yeah, whoever their uh, first player is. Good patience, this Orange. Is, this is scary. All right. He knew how to challenge him right there. This is a big fight right here. Whoever wins this exchange could uh, take the lead. Yeah, they get control over the center, and they kind of control how the stage will build from here Ooh. on. Ooh, okay. That was a, a great punish. Okay. Kill confirmed. Uh, Blue said, yeah, I'm going to come down to you. I'm going to knock you off. Um, that was pretty sick, not going to lie. So, wow. We are already, uh, it's 5-3, I believe, now. Team Erica's up two. That's, uh... Oh, it's 4-4? Four, four? Oh, okay, okay. They were... Gotcha. Okay. All right, we got uh, Crispy Hanukkah stepping in. He's uh, new to the Catherine community, but not new to Catherine. Oh, okay, cool. This is actually really awesome. So we've got Joey Bag of Donuts, who has a top-tier name. Uh, we'll see if he's a top-tier player. Yes. Uh, and we've got Crispy Hanako. Crispy Hanako is actually, like, one of the best speedrunners of this game. Cemetery. And um, Joey Bag of Donuts, his claim to fame, his first tournament was Seo Taku like two months ago, and he almost beat Dazzit, bro. So he had him on the ropes. Yes, he did. So. Yeah, yeah. It so was like last game, last round. This is so. going to be an exciting match of uh, new sheeps, you know, stepping yeah. up to the field and uh, claiming victories. Two new players. We were giving them kind of boot camps last night, so we'll see what, what stuck after uh, after all the drinking. All right, so. and they chose Underground Cemetery, a very uh, neutral game. This is stage. this is great. I love this stage. I think this is the best stage ever made in any video game. Ever. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I, I play this one all the time. I don't get bored. Yeah, it's just so many variations. It's just normal blocks on this stage. Ooh, Ooh. that is Orange. so rough to see. All right, so the thing about this game, like you don't want to be moving too much, but you don't want to not move. 
you got to find the in-between. And I felt like he was performing so many actions, he didn't pay attention to what the other sheep was doing. And it caused that to happen. Right. It's... And and Catherine as well is a very unforgiving game. Like yes. you see right there, everything's happening, everything's normal. Like it doesn't always have to be like a crazy combo heavy game. Just suddenly somebody can mess up, fall off the tower, and then the game's over. That's it. One like, mistake and you're done. That's it. So it's like the Dark Souls. Yeah, I was um, gonna say it's very like Dark Souls where uh, it rewards you for playing perfect. You know, if right. you play perfect, you Orange, got it. Orange is picking up that X factor. You can see in the bottom right it tells you what that does, so he'll be able to climb two steps now. Um, uh, we he, chose the X. A, he chose an interesting route that's going to give him a lot harder climb. Yeah, it, but he's, he caught up. Oh, oh nice oh, block. Oh. Oh. He could have done something about that mm. if he would have been just a little patient. All right. I love that from Blue with the block. Yeah, right? just that's perfect. Like, that's like some next level stuff. Yo. Oh, man. <laughs> they, they, the crowd is going wild for Chachi, and Chachi's not even out yet. I know, I know. You so, don't want to see this final boss. Some of the lore. Last year, Climb Cancel was held all at my house. I had like 16 of these freaks. Uh, it was crazy. It was, it was insane. My house is not big enough for that many people. Um, so we had a crew battle at the end there. And Chachi, who he's awesome. He's a great guy. Uh, there's nobody in his scene. I think he's from Ohio or something like that, Midwest. And uh, he comes out, and everybody's chanting, Chachi, Chachi, Chachi. Getting this, him wild. This man takes out, like, three people back to back. Yeah, like, including me. Yeah, like, which is kind of a surprise. I, I don't know if I'd say Chachi's, like, a favorite to really win things. He's definitely a good player, but he's not really at, like, that next level because yeah. he doesn't have he the practice. Doesn't have the practice, doesn't have someone to play with, right. and he doesn't come to enough tournaments, unfortunately. So it, it's a lot of things are stacked against him, but he does well. Yep. He, he handles that really well. So so now we've got Crispy versus uh, Chachi. Okay. Round one. Ready All right, let's go. see what we got. Uh, Spire Corridor is the stage they chose. Yeah, this is the black hole blocks. You cannot step on those. Looks they like he's going for a up. shark. Orange has to figure out the solve here. I don't think he's familiar with it. Okay. He, he has actually learned it. Yeah. I like that. I like that. That was a very impressive comeback. Because it's very scary once you get down there. How's he going to deal with this? All right, good pillow hit. Ooh. Good patience from Orange, yep. and he's going to take go. this off. That's perfect. That's perfect. Ooh, All right, that Blue needs factor. to create a new path and get back up. Yep. A lot of this stage is kind of like going back and forth between the two sides. Usually the black hole blocks will kind of block something. All right, now we've got Blue with the X Factor. Let's see Ooh, his that's comeback. That's three blocks. That's three. He can't climb up that. He has to go. Oh, stage falls out from underneath him. Yeah, there was a lot of things there that were sacked against him. Um, I think pulling that block where he was at to make two to climb onto it, and then the next one would have been two, would have been the you know an easier path than sidling all around. Yeah, there's a there's definitely ooh that was such a great punish. I love that. The spiral core there 101. You know that got him so good. <laughs> I love seeing that. Yeah. Cause he uh, he tried the shark the first time, right? He was being super like aggressive, aggressive yeah, right? Yeah. I was like, okay, fine, being upfront and personal, that's not gonna work. All right, let's play a little bit more abstract. Let's yeah. let's push these blacks. Let's get these some mind games, you know. He won't yeah. see this coming. Yeah, and it worked. So yeah. now it looks like we've got Chachi versus Solar Spy Fair. Point. Solar Fair, his first tournament was to climb cancel. Yeah. yeah. Uh, last year, and since then he's only been to Frosties, I believe, in January. He's uh, he's from Maryland. We've got a lot of Maryland players, oh, actually. Yes. Surprisingly, I don't know what. Not else. surprising. It doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> you know, it's well, been two years since 2016 CEO Taku, so enough time to build. Sure, you know. sure. I just meant more like uh, I don't know what what really like Maryland's good at, but like know, outside. Okay. <laughs> but Catherine, we we crush. Yeah. So. Uh, Putting my money on Solar here. He's uh, he he went to college with me, hmm. so uh, I played a few sets with him. So I've kind of trained him up a little bit, hoping he doesn't let me down. <laughs> um, so yeah. And again, if you're just tuning in, we have a competitive Catherine Discord. Would definitely recommend checking that wow, out wow. for Ready? all sorts of stuff. We're pretty active in there all the time. So. All right. So Torture Chamber is the stage they chose. The okay. Okay. <laughs> There is a little bit of wonkiness in this stage. Uh, since it's the PlayStation 3 version, there is quite a few lag. And um, if people perform a lot of actions or activate a bunch of traps and stuff, it causes the stage to lag a lot. So that can eat inputs. Yeah, frame rate is kind of an issue on this stage. Uh, Orange 
Rouge here has to figure out what he's got to do. Yep, he was in altered state, so he had to drop down. Clean himself right off. Right. Catching up. He's got a dark block, too, so he can do a kill confirm. Okay. Now this makes it... Oh, that's scary there. That was... Whoever oh, has I that, love that. Yeah, whoever that has control dodge. of that dark block right there is... It's gonna be uh, that dark block is very dangerous. You cannot push that dark block with the, with the face one. Oh, there! Good drop Almost kick. Good into drop a kick. A serious kill confirm. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't block off the way Blue had to get up. That was his mistake there. I feel. Right. Uh, he just kind of tried to climb, and like one of the things about Catherine is that you have to make the most out of everything. Oh, this is big. This is big this from Blue. Is, oh yes, right this. here. Good drop kick. Patience. Waited. Yep. See, like. Arian should have thought about his spacing there. There's three blocks, like, between him and the opponent. That's too much for the opponent to realize and react on, you know? Right. If he was a lot closer and done that, could have been in his favor. Yeah, you can't really sneak when, when your opponent sees you running all the way across the map to him, you know? Exactly. No, he drop kicks from Blue. Blue is getting him. Orange able to climb here. I hope he plays some defense. You know, he, he keeps trying to go for these climbs. Love that dodge from Blue. You can actually dodge the pill. Oh, oh. Shot, monk girl. I'm sorry. I, I, that is hot. <laughs> oh, shit. Here oh, we I go. I think Chachi lost. That's hilarious. Yeah, we always root for Chachi. Always. Like, even no when, even when Chachi loses, Chachi wins. Chachi wins. So He's the Chachinator. <laughs> we got Silent Black Cat coming up, a very strong player. Yeah, yeah. Silent Black Cat is also from Maryland. So we're going to have a Maryland team kill right here. Uh, Silent got fourth at EVO. Yes. Uh, and got pretty scary good in a short amount of time. Like, Silent's first event, I think, was actually Frosty's. Torture yeah. Chamber. Yeah, so less than a year. This is like, you know, pretty good. Uh, beat Dacid Bro, one of the few people to be on that list. But that, that number's been increasing. Lately. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. He's been put through the ringer. <laughs> um, but any of that can change once full body comes out, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a, a, almost a different game, so. It really looks like it. I mean, there's there's more items, more stages. It's, it's really cool. Um... Silent Black Cat, fun fact, they actually play on a hitbox. So that's what they're uh, hooking up now, it looks like. Um, I think actually playing on like a fight stick is actually like a NorCal thing yeah, in this it, game. It, I feel, it really right? is. Like a lot of those guys do that because a lot of those guys are fighting game players, right? Yeah. Dacid Bro or like Mike Muscles. Um, and yeah, I think most people though play pad in this game. Uh, looks like Silent's thinking about what to do, where to go. I'm curious. What maps haven't we seen? We've seen Underground. Okay. We haven't seen uh, the Squad. We haven't seen Cathedral. Didn't we start on Quad? Okay, we might have, yeah. Yeah. So we haven't seen Cathedral. Clock Tower. And Clock Tower. Okay. So we'll talk about those if they come up. Uh, this is good. This is good. This is an even match. This is much closer than I thought it would be, actually. They're taking it back and forth. So I'm real happy about that. Okay. Orange knocking out that center block. Now you've kind of got these two separate towers. It looks like Orange is going to try to climb ahead. Blue's here playing a little Ooh, bit aggressive. Strong. He's going to get punished for that. Um, All right, right here. They're both playing that yeah. spacing game very carefully. Now Blue has the better tower, but Orange is going to take that by crossing over, it looks like. They're kind of playing this weird game right now. They're yeah. trying to get the, the space advantage. Um, Orange's shape is looking pretty good. Good drop kick from Blue. Oh, this is a scary oh, spot. Snap. First pin of the game, baby. Love this is a, a really uh, important pin for Orange right now because Blue has the court advantage in Catherine where he doesn't have to do anything usually and he'll get the win. Orange has to step up at the very oh, end, just which like he that. didn't do. You, so you now see. Blue gets it. It's it's the it's what like normally I'd say this game is like a even matchup right you'd think but it's actually like 52 48 like it is slightly in Blue's favor yes. because of situations like that if you knock somebody down on the back row they just crumple and they just sit there Orange threatening to push out the stage Orange is real low now this is this he, is gonna be a fight he wants to fight boy yeah, he, he's making he's, the Mortal Kombat bridge and he's saying let's do it right here baby he's uh he's kind of embarrassed it seems from the last set he wants to assert his dominance a little bit. Ooh, All right. He was trying to parry there. Blue here has the really good tower. Oh, Lordy. This is, this this is, is scary. scary. This is, oh, he oh, got geez. out. Look at the pin. Oh, oh no. but Orange doesn't have time. Oh, oh that's wow. a tie. Wow. Okay. Wow, we got a draw, baby. Jeez. <laughs> that's a nail biter. That's crazy. Indeed. I just, 
This is insane. I wonder now, so we've seen two games where they played really aggressively, right? Blue was the aggressor in the first game, and now Orange was the aggressor in the second. Now it looks like they're climbing. Yeah, they Blue just want to play. Push. All right. I, I'm oh, just, ooh, ooh, this is, this is scary. This is it for Orange. He's, He's out. done. Nice. Blue Sheep was so fast and so decisive in which blocks to push, you know, to get that scenario to happen. Nice. Good going. So is that Solar? Solar, Solar just that? Nice. Solar just doesn't care anymore. He's like, who's Silent Black? Who? He what? says, who's next? Yeah. <laughs> Bring him on. <laughs> Hitbox, what does that matter? <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's um, really great for him. Yeah, because I think Silent was the, the favorite, favorite in that definitely scenario. in that matchup. So Sheep Man is on the last. They're cheering for Sig, the team oh, captain, shit. the boy, all the way from New York. Here he comes. He's a good guy. Um, he's like the only New York player. He also speed runs some stuff. Uh, yeah, he, he speed runs, uh, I believe, Earthbound. Only okay, Earthbound? okay. Yeah, because his name is Sig, only and that's right. a character in Earthbound. Right. This frigid blizzard will win. Yeah. This so I'm curious. I think Sig's gonna go quad. That's yeah. Usually that's opinion. what he'll do. If not that, it'll probably be like cathedral. cathedral. Yeah. Those are great stages to show off like your tech and your climbing, yeah. which is what Sig is really good at. Yeah. Again, the thing about Quadrangle is that it's no items, right? You don't have to worry about X Factor. You don't have to worry about blocks. So it's it's back to the basics, really. Here um, he comes. Yeah. You see, we've got a little crowd forming over here for Catherine. This is this is good. This is good. Uh, looks like they're just getting ready to go. I think they did decide to do quad. So yes, they did. All right, here we go. This is going to be a really scary match for Solar. Sig's got a lot to work work against though. Yeah, don't get me wrong, he has other players to face off. Yeah, I mean. But this is his stage, man. It is. This is Sig's fucking stage. Ice is nice, baby. Let's see how it goes. All right, let's go. Orange gets an early hit. All right, he's going to try to block him out down here. He's going to try to keep him in his base. This is, look at this. They're just thinking. Like you have moments like that. Good drop kick. Oh, the, ball. the reaction. Good. Oh my god, from blue. So we actually do have a DP in this game, right? If you drop kick somebody, you can actually cancel your uh, ending lag by grabbing the block, and so that's what blue did. That prevents orange from like following up and like getting a ladder. So it's actually like a really important thing. Blue again down in his base. This is. Oh, this is scary. That was a possible pin situation. Oh lordy. Um, I'm liking this. I want to see some style defense from Blue. Stay on the dark block. That was your strongest block. It was. It was. This is going to be hard for Blue to come back now. Yeah. He's, he's, he can't be messing around at the bottom there. He's got to be climbing. He set Paradise up Paradise. On the left there, that is a really hard solve uh, because of that dark block prevents you from pushing that row. So we call it Paradise because it's uh, great for one guy, bad for the other. Exactly. And Orange, there's not much Blue can really do at this point. It looks like Orange is going to run away with this. As long as blue doesn't make any single mistakes, it's, I mean, uh, orange, orange then yeah. it's all orange. Yeah. Uh, that's the thing on this stage, right? You can always slip on the ice, so actually we have seen, and it is in Sig's nature, actually. He was going to win a tournament once, and he killed himself with the gold block. He got crushed by it. So just when you think the game's over, it really is just getting started. Oh, nice dive kick I love that dive Sig. kick. So but he came back down. I he did. I, I don't know if he knew that he was going to get the okay. drop, drop kick cancel. So lots of things in Catherine are cancelable, and that's one of them. Uh, you can actually cancel your drop kick animation, so you actually stay on the top block but still get the hurt frames. And that's, like, there's a lot of tech. Like, I think we wrote a Google Doc, and it's like five pages long. <laughs> so that, that's why. Yeah, you either get to cancel your die kick or you get to cancel your climb. Right. Climb and cancel. where are we now? <laughs> So orange, orange going back to the basics. Uh, Sig's a really strong climber. Yes, he and is. And I feel like he just kind of took advantage of that. You saw blue kind of hesitate with some of those solves. So, and with quadrangle being the stage for climbing, it's just a, a lot in the favor, a lot in his favor. Yeah, exactly. So now we've got orange emoji, which is very confusing. Orange emoji is playing the blue sheep. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a really good fight. Um, the last tournament, Orange won against Sig, even though Sig was like feeling a little under the weather. But Orange a little too hard, yeah. maybe. But Orange is strong, so like you know, this is gonna be a, a, a pretty sexy match. Orange, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Orange is actually the first person that I ever played competitive Catherine against. He's the reason I like got into the game. So I'm rooting for him. Yeah. Um, I hear you. 
Yeah, these chairs keep slipping and sliding just a little bit back, right? Yeah, I think there's that, like a, a, a little, hump yeah. that you can get over and then it doesn't go back on. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. It looks like there's some uh, trash talk going on, setting up controllers. Yeah. Um, he might have messed a little bit with the audio because he's trying to plug something in. Okay. The chachi <laughs> chant is going chant. back on. Ugh. <laughs> 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 Uh, if you like what you're seeing, please tweet this out. Tell people about it. Yes. Um, Competitive Catherine, you know, it's at VG Boot Camp. Yeah. 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 And if, uh, if you're watching from home and you actually want to come, we are taking on-site signups for an amateur bracket later. So it's only people who have never played the game before entering that. Uh, so that, you know, if you're interested. Yeah, come show up. Just tell us who you are and we'll set you up. Yeah, yeah. So it's good. We've got all sorts of games going on here. We've got Wind Jammers and Sailor Moon and Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Turtles. So, good stuff. Cowabunga dudes. Go. Surf's up. <laughs> all right. Cathedral. All right. So, Finally. Yeah, this is the biggest stage in the game. Uh, and so that allows like a lot of free form, really. Like, you can, the MTBA saying on the stage is that you can do anything. Anything works on Cathedral. Like, you can make it a mess, you can make it Swiss cheese, and it still works out just fine. All right, so, so we'll Blue's see. got the X Factor, which yeah. isn't really too strong in this stage, but it's so nice to have. Because it's so long that, like, even if you get it, there's not much that you can do with it. And he's, yeah. he's holding on to it. He's waiting for a time to, like, Break really off. take off with it, which is Ooh, good. Great job from Orange. He just stepped good down. Hit, good hit. Okay. I appreciate the item usage. I think that's a smart choice. I like, that. I like the idea of him going lower. Yeah, to fight him, but then he didn't. So it, it's kind of rough. the X, so it's a little bit tricky. Um, you see Blue here is going to take off, but even with that X, I, I don't think... You can see on the left side of the stage the relative position, uh, and the X ran out before he could even get to the top. Yeah, there's still plenty of top. There is. I like that from Orange, separating out the left and right sides, because now that forces Blue to come over to Orange and actually try to fight him. Now, Blue has actually an advantage in this situation. Ooh. Usually you want to go low on the tower. Good push from Orange. Ooh. This is scary. This is scary. This is scary for Blue. Because there's nowhere really for him to go. That was uh, a little unfortunate for Blue there. Yeah, yeah. I like that he went lower on the tower. Usually it's like a game of limbo. It's whoever tries to get to the bottom of your shape while you're climbing because you can push it out from the other guy. Yeah. So it's like a continuous battle of, okay, will I go lower than you and what can I push out? And it's really cool. So Blue's Blue with that X factor. It looks like Blue's going for those farming builds, right? Looking yes, like Farmer is. John over here. Oh boy. Let's see what he, what's, he's got an awkward shape here. This is kind of difficult for him to climb. There's there's nowhere for him to go. He has to use that block, but he doesn't want to or he doesn't know. When I was uh, playing with Orange yesterday, who's blue sheep at the very moment. Oh! Ooh, someone hit a guide button. Somebody, uh... Oh, no. Who's this? Maybe somebody was synced up. Are they it looks like they're just going to keep playing. All right, good. That's homies. fair. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, we play all the time. It, it, it would suck to just... Yeah, and it's not like there's anything too crazy on the line here. Um, and it wasn't like in the middle of a fight, so yeah, that's yeah. that's good. It's fair. But uh, I was saying that uh, yeah. Orange was telling me yesterday, his, one of his favorite things on Cathedral is that he likes to get the snake bite, which is what we call when you get two X-Factors. You have to get the one X-Factor, you pop it, and then you farm for another one and you hold it. So I'm not sure if that's what he's looking for right now. It kind of feels like that's what he's looking for. He, he wants like the farm. He's, he's, He's this just sitting is back a little. real scary for Blue. Ooh, sit oh, on that dark block. <gasps> that dark block is go back. so go back. strong. Just sit oh, on Blue. the dark block. Just stay on the dark block. Oh, my Lord. Oh, it's a no, rodeo. No. Oh, my God. Orange. Orange got him. Jesus. He just needed to stay on the dark block, man. Yeah. That's all he had to do. Dark blocks are really strong because you can't push them out, right? So, like, you can stay there, and there's nothing the other guy can do about it. Yeah. I mean, all he has, he has to find another path. Right. It was, it was, the onus was on Blue, right, to kind of take advantage. So... Let's talk real quick. Team Sheepman. Yes. Down. Yes. Three one. And Sig is about to solo. <laughs> the whole the, the rest of the, the team. bottom half of that team. So let's see. We've got Linus coming up. Linus is from Texas. And he's also the team captain. He is. Now we've got the battle of the captains. Yeah. Oh, I like that that they saved the captains for the end. Uh, Linus is kind of known for being a little bit more aggressive. Yes. 
Um, but I feel like he, he's, he strayed from that. You know, he learned all his aggressive plays, and now he's just working. He kind of learned what worked. He, like, yeah. he, he kind of played around and, and saw how to fight. I think we're going to see uh, Spiral, Spiral would be my guess. That's what uh, Linus, Linus would pick. But we'll see. Only those. Cathedral taking him right, back. Right. Cathedral. Not going to lie, I think Sig has this one. Okay. Just going to say that now. I mean, Sig is the favor out of the two? I think so. Um, Sig has had some really strong showings. Linus, I feel like he's either super hot or super not. Uh, last climb cancel though, he did really well. He got third, so he, you know, he beat Sig last year. So we'll see if climb cancel is Linus's tournament. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Oof. Oh, okay. That you see, nobody went under that block trying to get the hits because they knew they'd be squished. So that's good player awareness. For both of those. So if Orange has control over these shapes now, you see, right? He's able to push the blocks out from underneath the blue. Good play. Now blue has to drop. He can't stay there. He can't do that. He doesn't have enough time. Good push. This is going to be hard enough. for blue. All right. With that block, that block is the only reason he's alive right now. Yeah, but if that X factor, if he keeps climbing and he's higher than five or more, the stage is going to fall from underneath him so quick that blue may not have a chance to climb. Right, right. Uh, the farther apart you are, the faster, the more the stage falls out. So oh, this is looking terrible. I saw what he was trying to do. He was trying to get the stage to come down for him, but yeah. there are blocks anchoring it from the back. 3D solves are hard, man. Yeah, they are. Uh, this game. It's tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. All right. They're both starting with the traditional Dacid Bro Mansion. Yep, yep. Okay, a little variation here. Orange is going to cross over. Or not. Just steal the block from Blue. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He just wants to be idea. in his, in his yeah, way. He's just being a real butt right now. <gasps> Good pin from Blue. Good reverse pin. This is guaranteed for Blue. Blue just got it. Blue's wow. Potentially taking a selfie yeah. pick right and now. And that was, that was really important because if Orange, like if Blue hadn't DP'd, Orange would have dropped and then got the pin, right? So like... It was going to end it up hit, oh, which yeah. was crazy. It just was which player. All right, last round. Last right, just, just going off for the Australia build to get that head start. Yeah, now Orange kind of has control over this top, right? You see Orange is really far ahead right now. And what I like to do is I like to kind of try to block the other player or uh, take advantage of the height, right? You kind of can set the opponent's path. Uh, Blue's kind of in a tricky spot. He, he got the right solve. Uh, again, always try to go low on the tower if you can. Orange kind of looks like he's struggling with the idea here. I mean, he I think he just wants to fight him. He just, I, he's or he's being his to way. block him. Yeah, yeah, he's being a real pest. You know? Oh, wow, he got an X factor. factor. Blue. I want Blue to actually go up the <gasps> left side. I Great think reaction be the, from Orange. This is good. Dodging that it. DP and just getting right out of the way. That's the game. Good job. Blue, uh, Blue went a little bit too low trying to do those pushes. He's yes. getting a little bit too greedy. I would have liked to see him go 